This is hard. I don't want to climb anymore on Genevieve. My legs hurt. My best friend's young son and daughter echoed versions of these words throughout our tour of the Western States National Parks. The majesty of Purple Mountains in the distance could not ease the burden of the hikes and led to the discomfort and unleashing of epic afternoon meltdowns. Want to know how best to see the grand prismatic hot spring in Yellowstone? Go by yourself. Hiking and adventuring with littles was a reminder for me of my relationship with God. It was exhilarating and exasperating all at the same time. Our days were filled with laughs and giggles, cautions and corrections. The days held pauses, resets, early mornings, and moments of quiet in the car rides back to our dwelling at night. As a single woman with no children, traveling with two little kids is humbling and hilarious. It was a reminder that there is so much in the world beyond me to explore. There were times of discomfort and personal challenges held next to triumphs and hugs and little pictures drawn just for me. The gospel today alludes to discomfort that people feel in relationships, particularly Jesus's call to live in God's light and love. The disciples came to Jesus and relayed their own version of, this is hard. Why are you making me do this? I don't think it's worth it. I was reminded of my own response or prodding at different points through various hikes and endeavors. Come on, kiddos, just a bit farther and then we can rest once we get to the top. The view will be worth it. Jesus's response, does this shock you? Is nonchalant enough to give the impression that he has thought this through to the end. Jesus knew he would lose followers along the way and he recognized that the message and call to a life in the light of God would be difficult and tumultuous for many, too difficult to ensure that all would be at the end of the journey. That did not stop him. He reminded the disciples of what he promised, and he also encouraged the disciples along the way. The gospel this weekend speaks of discomfort, and also the encouragement needed for the journey. Relationships with peers, friends, families, and littles are hard. People come into new and familiar relationships with assumptions and priorities. Our jobs as followers of Jesus is to pivot continually in our relationships to ensure we center ourselves in God's light and love. We accompany one another on the journey when we do that for them. One way to ensure that we are centering ourselves in this frame is to answer Jesus's question, does this shock you? Our answer hopefully is yes, this is different from what I expected, but I know that you are with me. And so we keep climbing and we climb with the people who accompany us. As a side note, you should always see the grand prismatic from the overlook. It's worth all the meltdowns.